I am seeing in the realm of the spirit and the, as the message and the prophecy now begin to come straight away in the realm of the spirit. I am seeing what is called a national conference. National conference. And this national conference will be something I've already prophesied it a few weeks ago. And I'm seeing it now becoming the next step to be taken. But this step to be taken, God say, tell them, because in the realm of the spirit, I am seeing few people now trying to say, okay, let us now do the thing. But this is how it must go. And this is how it must not go. The how it must go and the how it must not go will be what will destroy everything. The best way is everybody say your mind. Nothing should be reserved and nothing should be hidden. Whatever is reserved will cause problem tomorrow. Whatever is hidden will cause another problem tomorrow. Every truth should be excavated and put on the surface. So you start from the surface and go down to the root. And then you get the problem solved. This one can be here. You answer your name. This one here, you answer your name. This one here, you answer your name. This one here, you answer your name. There can be one unit or the other. But the real thing must be put in place for everybody to now know where the direction is. Because this is what is called uh, 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 the, 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 the time of decision and the time of making the right step. What we need is prayer. What we need is full-time convocation. Convocation of national dialogue. National dialogue. And I said the method of the dialogue. I said this method of this dialogue is, is only going to work when it is going to be every single person. The people should be the ones to send the people for that discussion. If you now say, oh, no need of prayer, let's select ourselves. You select yourself. What is crying? We keep on crying. You go for dialogue and you select yourself. Oh, you are my friend. Take 10, 10 million. Take 10, 10 million. Take 1, 1 billion. Take 1, 1 trillion. Don't go here. Stay here. Don't talk like this. Don't speak like this. Speak like this. Uh, favor me. Favor yourself. This, that. What is crying? We keep crying. What is crying will keep crying. But if the meeting and the discussions that are already in the realm of the spirit that I've seen before now, before this meeting, if this very discussion and national dialogue will have openness, will have what is called undiverted, uh, 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 will have what is called a freedom of speech, will have what is called a freedom of expression, will have what is called a national concentration and sitting down to discuss directly. In fact, it, it should be something that, I don't know, the English is supposed to be uh, national sovereign conference where people get to sit down, remember the will of the people. Whatever you say, your people will say, oh, this thing that you say, yes, is our mind. This one will say, say, yes, what you say is our mind. This one will say, he said, what you say is our mind. And they now become the mind of the people. This is not the mind of particular individuals, selected few people that are going to speak for only themselves and for themselves and themselves alone. But it has to be for the people and for the people and for the people alone. Then you'll be surprised. You will definitely be surprised. If I tell you that the reason why you see all of this thing that is happening, I am one of the people that has been affected by what is called marginalization. I'm one of the people that have been denied of my right. I said this in here last time and I want to say it again. I was among the people that in primary school I won several scholarships. But the money that's supposed to be paid to me was embezzled. It was embezzled. I was called as among the people that won scholarship primary level. I won scholarship. But the scholarship I won, I won was not given to me. They only called me, oh, you won scholarship, oh, an award. They shouted after everything, after the meeting. That is all. My scholarship was embezzled. And I struggled to go to school, the level I can. 
and the rest was history. And they took what belonged to me and gave it to another. And you call this a government? You call these people that the people that do this, you go free? Do you know what they truncated? Do you know what they affected? Do you know what they destroyed? Do you know what I should have become now if I had gone to that level of that scholarship that was given? And this is also what is happening to thousands of people and millions of people out there. People that God has given mandate, great talents, great gift. Their gift are denied. Their talent are denied. Oppression upon oppression. No, God is not happy. I said it often and often. I said God is not happy. Because the people have been deprived their right. When you deprive the people their right, you give the people the opportunity to cry and to shout. And when they cry and they shout, heaven will not keep quiet. There's a voice in heaven that will speak and say, I've seen the affliction and the cry of my people which are in Egypt. And I've come that they might have a life and have it more abundantly. Let me use this medium to say that wherever you're watching me, God will definitely bless you and God will definitely favor you and God will definitely open the door and God will let his glory come down and uh, touch every soul. So we need to quickly do the right thing because I want to tell you that nobody anywhere that is finding it a bed of rosary. I want to say that nobody is what? Finding it a bed of rosary. Nobody is sleeping. And these two eyes close. Even the rich also cry. The rich also cry. So if the rich also cry, then why do we now want to use this and truncate everybody? Do we want to all put ourselves in, in a tunnel and bomb the tunnel and destroy the tunnel and all die inside the tunnel? No. If this tunnel cannot go, we now create other tunnels and everybody can enter the ones that can be free. The world we are in has gone past what we are seeing today. The world we are in has gone past what is happening today because what is happening today is not how God wants it. That is the way God wants it and the way God wants it is what we all should be looking at and not be looking at something that God is not interested. We should not be going negatively and following other ways where God has made the right way that we all should follow. So we all must know that in this life we are Heaven is always interested on what happens on the affairs of men. I've come to see that it is a time that a lot of people are now doing what is called a family concern or family interest or self-interest or how do I put it? So if I know I am going to be after my family and my family alone, I don't think I need to go to public office. If you know you are for your family and your family alone, don't come for public office. Go for family office and stay in your family office and face your family. If you know you are going to be tribal, don't come for, 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 for a, a mixed tribal office. Stay for your tribal office and focus on your tribal and face your tribal so that at the end of it all, everybody will know what belongs to him or her, and then you focus on what belongs to you and what belongs to you alone and go on that. But if you come for what belongs to everybody and you want to run it to your selfish or personal issue or personal thing, you make mistake. You step on toes. And when you step on toes, things begin to go off. Even if the people cannot cry or people cannot shout, you'll be surprised that unknown things will begin to manipulate your life. You see, unknown things will begin to manipulate your life. You see, we are at the crossroad. At the crossroad. When I say we are at the crossroad, we are in a time that the destiny of everybody in this nation is going to be defined by God. This is not about people. This is not about the people in power. It's about God allowing the storm and allowing the wave to blow so that the destiny of people can be defined and we can now be able to see the light of the day because I want to let you know that there is a light in this part of the world but the light has been hijacked because there are forces from the pit of hell that never want the destiny of the people to manifest 
Because all over the world, the people from this part of the world are people that are highly gifted by God to champion great things all over the world. To champion things that the people all over the world should be able to expect something greater than what has been seen anywhere in the world. Remember, I said last time, I said that the people that is going to take over power from the United States of America is also going to be United States of B. And I made it clear, I said, this is what is going to happen when the time comes. But all of these things is all winding down and preparing for the coming of the Son of Man. I said it here, I said, I see where there is going to be a confab, a national conference and national dialogue. And I said, as it's coming up, the thing to be done there is to discuss the right thing as it affects the people. To put the meat on the table as it affects the people and discuss about the meat. You see, in other words, to say that everything that is going to be happening, God has already seen them and they, how they are going to happen. And the steps that are being taken right now is the step that is needed for peace to reign for the destiny of the people to be defined. For whoever God said will be this or will be that, whatever God is giving to any individual may be able to enter into the hand of that individual. That whatever God has prepared about the destiny of the people can be able to manifest for the people to now champion their destiny. Everybody is the owner of his destiny. Everybody, you are the owner of of your destiny. Nobody owns your destiny. You are the owner. God gave it to you to champion that destiny. And so whoever wants to tamper or truncate or fight your destiny or the destiny of the people is just fighting God. Because nobody can fight God and succeed. You fight God, you will never ever succeed. So God is not the person to fight. You cannot fight God. You fight God, you will waste all your time. You will waste all your resources. You will waste everything. Because when it comes to destiny, no matter what anybody does, destiny will surely prevail. That's what the Bible says. The people say, they, they say, say, you can delay the destiny, but destiny can never be delayed, can never be denied. Can be delayed, can be tried to truncate, but at the end of it all, destiny will speak and destiny will prevail. 